there is evidence to suggest that children are highly susceptible to paranormal phenomena. They see what adults cannot. Hey, sport. They believe what adults deny. Come on, let's get you to bed. And they are trying. Daddy loves you. To warn us. You can get a signal on here anyway. We're here. They're going back now. It's so quiet out here. Just give it some time, Jess. It takes some getting used to. I saw something today. It's easy to understand getting scared out here. As of now, we're going to classify this as a false alarm. Is there any reason that would make her want to hurt or draw attention to herself? Mom, please believe me. I'm not making this up. Just please. Just stop. Did you know the family that used to live in my house? They just up and left about five, six years ago. I wish you could just tell me what you saw. Where have they been? family that's just up and left. I've seen them. Dad, I'm really scared. Can we just go home? Jessica, this is home. What do you see? What does it look like? Ben? You okay? When we are children, we believe the world is full of myths and legends. And that destiny awaits. Hello? This is a sacred place. Were you hiding or something? Wait, tell me your name. All hail the Queen of the Night, my cousin Vivian, and her bright future. family has plans for me. Not allowed to take a walk with a handsome, starving artist. <laughs> Every seven years, the leader of the pack takes a new wife. Don't you mean me? Now this is the best view of the whole city. I heard there were places that wolves were almost, like, worship. You mean werewolves? secrets on you. No. Gather tonight as one, for we are one. And we hunt as one. But your future is your own. Stay away from her. Why am I such a threat? You're not a threat. This is a threat. You'll leave on the next train. <laughs> Look what you've done. Why do you know so much about wolves? I wanted to protect you. And you? What did you want from me? The truth? You want to be ordinary? You're not as the animal inside you. If they find you, they'll kill you. So how are we going to get out of the city? Traditions can go to hell. Blood and chocolate.
<laughs> Can I open my eyes now? Not yet. Surprise. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Mama said they give you extra hugs. I love you more than anything in the whole world. Mrs. Hanson? Uh-huh. I'm sorry to tell you this. Your husband was in a car accident. He died on the scene yesterday. Tomorrow, we should probably start thinking about funeral arrangements. Mom, I'm not ready for that. Nobody's ready for anything like this, honey. I had a dream that felt so real that you could swear it was actually happening. It was only a dream. Everything's gonna be fine. We fell asleep together yesterday. He was right next to me. Linda, Jim is gone. I wake up and he's dead. I wake up and he's alive. Obviously, you're dealing with some inconsistencies. I wake up every morning to find my husband has died again. I think that goes just a little beyond inconsistent. How do you know my husband? Just thought that after we talked. We talked. We had yesterday. I've never met you before in my life. The husband was in a fatal car crash on Wednesday. That's strange. He showed up in my office on Tuesday, claiming he was already dead. You said he was going to die before the accident? Yeah. Oh, God. Jim, don't go on this trip, please. What? What is it? Excuse me. I'm Claire Francis. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Something bad is going to happen. It's never too late to fight for what's important in your life. But I don't know what to fight for. Sandra Bullock. If I let Jim die, is that the same thing as killing him? Honey, Jim's already dead. Premonition. In the absence of light, darkness prevails. Ancient evil has returned, greater than any the world has ever known. Sixty years ago, I tried to destroy the world. They're back. Now, one secret government agency... Welcome to the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense. ...has been called upon... Hellboy. ...to stand against them. There are things that go bump in the night. And we are the ones who bump back. Are you gonna be okay? How big can it be? Didn't I kill you already? We're heading towards civilians! Destroy them! You should be running. It's coming for us! Hellboy. Second date, no tongue.